All right, so in this exercise, I'm gonna attempt to create the pivot holder. But first, make sure everybody, make sure you like and subscribe my videos. It helps me pay my rent. I'm just kidding, I don't get any money at all from these videos. I wish I did, that'd be nice. <laughs> I just wanted to say that to look like I was an, an important dude. Anyway, I digress. We're gonna create the pivot holder. So I'm going to start a new standard there in inches, so English, standard IPT. We're gonna create. I'm going to start a new D, 2D sketch. I'm not gonna start a new D, a new D sketch. I'm <laughs> gonna start a 2D sketch. Um, just, yeah, don't pay any attention to me. I'm kinda weird. I know this, my issues have issues. Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna create, what do I wanna do? I'm gonna start a rectangle, a two point center. I'm gonna click this origin and drag it out. I wanted to mention these, so this one is gonna be four. Oh, you know what? Anyway, I shouldn't have did it this way. Oh well, it is what it is. I'm gonna go. Wait, what did I just have? Oh, okay, I was like, it disappeared on me. Heavens to Betsy. All right, we're gonna go four there. We're <laughs> gonna go four here. It's late. I'm in a weird mood. Ignore me again. Um, so that's four by four. Um, then I think I will go ahead and just do the circle here while we're here. Um, this has a diameter of three. Has a diameter of three. I was, oh, I was so close to that. I just kind of randomly eyeballed that. I was not far off. So there's three. Um, how do I wanna do this? How do I want to do this? I think what I can do is, hmm, should I extrude it right there? Yeah, let's go ahead and extrude it right there. I don't wanna get too much in one sketch. Click the home thingy. Um, I'm gonna extrude this thing. Let me go both directions. Like, let me click this. Let's go both directions. Let's do that. I don't know why. Just something just tells me that's might be the smart thing to do. Um, the what's the thickness of that thing? That is oh, looks like one. Sometimes these are hard to read. So that's one. Um, then I'm going to do do do. Yeah, let's do this. I'm just gonna start another sketch on this plane. I'm going to project geometry. I'm gonna select this out, this line, this line. I'm gonna draw a line from, I'm just gonna draw a random like kind of funky thing here. Just kind of go around like that. Um. Let's see, so I, it doesn't tell me what the dimension is. So I'm gonna assume that this hole up here is lined up over the center of this. And if that has a radius, or if that has a diameter of one, I'm gonna assume that from here to here is 0.5, is that right? 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And then from here to here is 0.5. I know from here to here is 1. I bet nobody in the world would do it this way. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's the right way or the wrong way. Um, let's see. Oh, that's 0.75. I'm sorry. This is 0.75. Yeah, 0.75. That's 0.75, which means this is 0 0.75, 0 0.75. All right, there we go. Um, so yeah, we're fully constrained. I will finish this sketch. And then you're like, what in the world? Or I'm gonna extrude this thing. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna extrude it to this back surface. Right, so we do that. I'm gonna hit okay there. Now I need to 
use my fillet, and that has a, a radius of 0.5. I'm gonna click on the selected. I'm gonna click these edges. That one, that one, um, this one, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hit apply. So to cut those circles through, I don't, I don't know. Do they go all the way through that? Mm, I don't know. It doesn't really say, right? I can't from the picture. I can't tell what, I can't tell what those do. So, um, I'm just gonna assume. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a hole here. I'm gonna click on this top face. I'm gonna click on this edge there. That has a diameter of 0 0.5. 0 0.5. I'm gonna make it go, hmm, I don't know, at least to at least to the inside here. I don't want it all the way through. No, I don't want it to go all the way through that. I don't want it all the way through there. Um huh, huh, huh. This is tricky. I don't know what I don't know how deep that hole goes. If I hit OK, what does it do? OK. Let me take a look and see what we're doing here. OK. I don't know. I'm just assuming that it goes to there. It doesn't tell me. I'm going to click on this hole here. I'm going to go boom and boom. And we're good there. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go. I'm going to click to this part. Click there. Um, I'm assuming it does that. I don't know. Um, I know you should never assume. Uh, let's see. Let me, let me add a fancy color on here. Uh -huh. Denim blue. Oh no. I mean, that looks cool if you're a pair of blue jeans, but no. Let's do, um, let's do pink. I like pink. Don't laugh at me. All right. Uh, yeah, and then we're going to save our part as pivot holder. Pivot holder. Oh, I like to go all caps. I don't know why I did it that way. That was weird. Save it. All right, there we go. All right, so there is our pivot holder.